are going to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes. Woohoo. Wow, welcome back everyone, brand new vlog. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we have got another travel vlog for you. It literally feels like we just got back from our UK trip a few days ago, because we did. This is not standard procedure, is it? Not for us. We don't travel like this usually, especially without the kids. But it just so happens we had two travel situations a week apart so we got back from the uk on monday today is friday on our way to the airport again gonna be back on monday again so uncle jono rye's brother is like the best uncle in the world right now for moving in and looking after the darling children and doggies and we are on our way to nice airport again so this time we're very excited for this time aren't we we are hun here is Ryan. Hi. Hello. Hello. We are going to Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes. Woohoo. Love Amsterdam. The couple of times that I've been have been like wild times on Ryan's sister's Hindu was one of them. Um, and then the last time that we went to Amsterdam, we were traveling from france to the uk doing a road trip wasn't we mm -hmm. and we had to spend uh, i think it was like half a day or something in amsterdam and yeah we stayed overnight there remember if you remember just one night with the kids because the dogs uh we got to the port in rotterdam and we'd not worm the dogs that's right yes. yeah so we had to wait 24 hours from the point that they were wormed before we could send them that's right there was a complication with the dogs um pet passports they we had the injections and everything all up to date but there was a problem uh they had to have the worming tablet um basically witnessed by yeah, a by, by a, a vet. vet so we had to find a vet in amsterdam let them have the worming tablet then wait a certain amount of hours before they would let us board the ferry um, and I, I loved it that time that we, we kind of got stuck there. Absolutely loved it. I saw it through a different pair of eyes and I just wanted to stay for longer. Anyway, this time we are going to an event, actually. It's a full weekend event. It's actually a biohackers event which I've decided I'm going to do on a completely separate vlog because it's quite niche, it's not for everybody. Although saying that, I do think that word is just making its way to the media massively at the moment. I feel like it's the next big health hype biohacking. Yeah, it's just fab and I feel like it's something that could potentially benefit everybody. So I'm going to do a whole separate vlog about the Biohackers event and what we find there and what we discover and just show you the inside out of that. But this vlog guys, this is the Amsterdam vlog. So 
you want to see Amsterdam, you love Amsterdam, let's stay tuned for this one. This is a whole fun vibe, Amsterdam, travel with us, what we're getting up to. Canals. Canals. Bicycles. Bikes, yes. Food. Yeah. Lots. For sure food. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of tempting naughty food. Yeah, there. but I'm not thinking that. When I say naughty, there's lots of naughty, naughty food. Yes. Um, so we're going to have to, um, you know, stick to the original plan. This is a health biohacking weekend. Yeah. Weekend. Yeah. The aim is to come back feeling healthy, just as healthy as when we set off, or even healthier. Mm -hmm. The aim is not to come back hungover. Yeah. No. Although. We need to have fun. Lots we do need to have fun. fun. Yeah. So that's the update, guys. On our way to Nice Airport, got me. Um, look at this. These are like a big hype at the minute, aren't they? Nancy went crazy for one. It's a Stanley, um, Stanley mug. What's thermal? The, it's mug. a thermal mug. Yeah. So it keeps hot <clears> drinks <throat> hot. Cold drinks cold. For like I don't know eight hours. Cold drinks and ice drinks stay cold for like a long, long time. 24? Well, I can't remember the exact hours, but it's a very good mug anyway. Really hard to get hold of. They'd sold out in all colours. She wanted one for her birthday, so I subscribed to the email list to be notified when they come into stock. And last week I got the notification that this one, this colour and the green colour was in stock. So. I ordered one for us to share because her birthday has now passed. Um, so it's coming with me on this trip because we need to stay hydrated and we want cold hydration. <laughs> <laughs> so, hmm. But yeah, it's very good. I mean, she put that water in there, bottled fridge water, last night and it's still cold the whole next day. Are we ready? Ready. Are we though? When we travelled last weekend to the UK, we was quite overweight with our luggage. We had some fees to pay. So we've tried to pack smarter this time. But will we be within weight? That is the question. So I'm carrying my big coat because it's quite chilly in Amsterdam actually um, and I'm carrying my toiletries in my bag which are already sectioned out into a clear plastic wallet and I've only packed one extra pair of shoes for this weekend so we'll see I couldn't have done it any better anyway could we hon even you you're only taking one pair of shoes as well aren't you yeah yeah wearing them do you think we're going to be within the 15 kg weight range? You think you will be? We've got belly out in there, and then yeah. you put it on, and it's always over. And you think, what? Is it 15 kg on purpose because everyone packs 70? That's what I mean. <laughs> well, I've left a lot of stuff behind, which I did take last weekend. So we'll see. Let's rock and roll. I don't think we've ever been 3kg underweight before. We can soon remedy that on the way back. Yeah, so we're definitely going to bring some goodies back, I think. Do you know what? It's Friday the 13th today and I'm not overly superstitious or anything but that was the worst flight I have ever been on. It wasn't like 
horrendous but it was definitely the worst flight I've ever been on so we boarded the flight and we were sat for almost two hours for takeoff because the um, flight traffic or whatever the wardens air are on, on air traffic control are on strike so almost two hours sat before we could even take off and then about 40 minutes before we landed oh, I have never ever witnessed turbulence as strong as that literally the plane dropped everybody gasped I grabbed onto Ryan's leg there was a woman in the toilet bless her that then came out crawling down the aisle <laughs> Ryan missed that bit um and then once I knew we were safe, I thought, oh, I've got to get the camera. I've got to get everyone's reaction because everybody was literally screaming. It was quite scary, wasn't it? Really, Ryan's saying no. It was scary. So, yeah, huge delays. And before we got on the flight, it was delayed anyway. So we're like three hours behind schedule-ish, are we? anyway the plan is so whilst we were sat for this two hours waiting for takeoff we was like hmm, what can we do so we booked this hotel the hotel is called Atiana or something it's all very funky very funky vibes funky very Amsterdam vibes. I'll leave it linked below, everything um, so the plan is I mean I was starving when I got on the flight and I'm like extra starving now I just grabbed an apple because there was some apples as we checked in like complimentary and it was the best apple I've ever eaten in my life bright green granny smith juicy one yeah I'm absolutely starving so whilst we were waiting for takeoff we was looking at restaurants local to this hotel and last week when we traveled we went to an incredible steak restaurant i had steak and lobster it was amazing um so i'm craving steak again if we if we better give that restaurant a call actually because they close at 11. 23 minutes past nine it's fine <coughs> hopefully um, we can eat at this uh, steak restaurant i've just like looked it up on instagram and it's called mr meat amsterdam and it looks incredible so hopefully we can get in there this evening. I'm so hungry. So hungry. But yes, that has been our Friday the 13th, guys. Worst flight ever to date. It's literally a five minute walk. So let's go. Let's go. Put your glad rags on, let's eat. <gasps> I'm not getting changed. Good. No dressy outfits have been brought on this trip whatsoever. It's all very casual Amsterdam vibes and yeah I'm gonna embrace it I wonder if they've got bone marrow bone marrow so good for you full of collagen let's get out of here are you ready Onions, 
starving, hon. Absolutely starving. Oh la la. Wow, very nice. Show me yours. Oh, yours looks impressive. Look at that. Look at the sea salt. Good morning friends, checking in from our hotel room in Amsterdam. Look at the view, this is the view. Right down there is the coffee shop that we're going to any moment. Bagel Beans, desperate for a coffee this morning. Enjoyed our steak, our meat feast last night, didn't we hun? Oh we did. At Mr Meat. Mr Meat Amsterdam. If you want a yes. steak, get yourself there. Mr Meat. I've, I've heard there's quite a lot of good steak places here though, so yeah. yeah. Um, and today, today is the day that we are heading to the Biohackers event, which I am sharing on the next vlog, which will be live in a few days time. So make sure you've got your post notifications on, the little bell sign on my channel so that you never miss an update because that vlog will be going live on Wednesday, hopefully. I want to be well on top of my editing. Um, so that's exciting. So everybody that's into health and wellness, learning a little bit more about biohacking, it, it can literally benefit everybody, any age. Get yourself tuned into that one. It'll all be shared over there. We are currently on the Amsterdam blog there right now. So I'm going to be bobbing on throughout the day, sharing bits of Amsterdam. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. But right now we're going over to Bagel Beans to get a really strong, delicious coffee. The weather is good because before we came, I did check and it said it was raining every single day. And when we arrived last night, it had been raining, and now we've got clear blue skies, which is super windy. handy. Yeah, it's just a bit cooler, <clears> it's windy, <throat> I can deal with that, I just don't like the wet. So it's fine. Right, I'm thinking double espresso. Give me a double espresso. What are you having, macchiato? Macchiato or cortado, whatever they sell there. Yes. Same drink, call it It is different. time. Chilly. First taste. First taste Amsterdam coffee. What are you saying? So strong and gorgeous. <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah. It's a teeny bit windy. Hmm. Hair sticking to lips. There's a nip, a nip in the air, isn't it? It is a little bit nippy, yeah, but it's a nice break from the never ending summer yeah. on the Riviera. Um, where are we? We're getting a boat. We're getting a boat across the river, yeah. Look at this. We need to get to the north. Pilgrim Valley. Oh, there's a boat coming, look. Yeah. Could this be ours? So, where do you pay then? No, we need to be going to the Waterly Buick slot of egg. Oh, it's very busy. Where do you pay? For the boat. Is that the one that we need? Yeah, this one, yeah. No ticket needed? No. Is it free? Free. Oh, little bonus. Well, 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 what an experience that was. We have just left the Biohackers event, the Biohackers Summit which is coming on the next vlog and I got so much amazing information, brands, like my brain is overwhelmed but I cannot wait 
to share everything with you. It's just super, super interesting. We've actually had to leave early because I don't think my brain could have actually took any more and I really want to take it in and process it all and put it together so I can share it the best I can with you. So we've come away now because we're going to go back tomorrow and talk to a few stands that we're also interested in which we just couldn't fit in our heads today. So that'll be interesting. Right now we are going into the city. Into the dam. Yes. Let's continue this Amsterdam vlog. We've just been for a few snacks. There was a nice like vegan restaurant next to the event. So we called in there. Had a couple of like starter bits snacks. to share. Had some snacks. I had some kombucha. <laughs> Ryan had a beer. It's turned rather chilly now. But we're just walking back to the boat, uh, to the city. YouTube. And then YouTube, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll share all the fun. Full on Amsterdam vibes. Love it. Just sit there in a park alone, beating your drums. Happy. Happy days. Ever. Oh, I wonder <gasps> why. Oh my gosh, there's a red velvet there, there's cheesecake, there's some kind of biscoff looking thing, there's a swirl, pistachio thing, <gasps> and then there's brownie at the bottom. I just cannot cope. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just like this little bit of planting for inspo. I think we need a trough for outside the house, and I love that little shrubbery situation going on there. No. Oh, you're going to have to listen to that as well. It's, 20, it's only a 20 minute talk, right? Uh, that guy. Restaurant of choice tonight is Lebanese. And I think we made a great decision because we had to wait 40 minutes for a table. So let's see what we get. We've ordered the real beef as always. This is the place. Hungry. Looking at <laughs> this guy keeps photo bombing. Oh, does he? Anyway, go on. Go on. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've got to say. Let's wait for the food. <laughs> Pop it. Fire. <laughs> 
look at the hummus. I love this type of food. Hummus, we have got strained yogurt with lemon, olive I'm gonna oil, dip it. herbs. Go for it. What's on your plate, Paul? Oh. Meat feast of some sort. Mm. Mixed grill. <clears throat> I don't think we liked that, did we? Awful. <laughs> oh my god, that was incredible. That was proper Lebanese, that. You ever have been in, uh, if you ever in Amsterdam, get your sense of Dabka. Old Caspic condom. Oh my god. A glow in the dark condom. Because you can't find him. Look at these! Look at these! Who wants a football shirt? Oh, that one must be painful. Fondo Marie! Who knew? Wow! I'd need that one, obviously. <laughs> Wonder how many times that joke's been cracked. to 11. Last day in Amsterdam. We actually switched off last night, didn't we, hon? We did. We had our second day at the Biohacker Summit and it was a packed day again. Lots to share on that. Um, and then last night we just relaxed. Didn't really want to take the camera because we didn't want to lose it. It had turned super cold as well and rainy. We just went for more gorgeous food. We've had some incredible food while we've been here, haven't we? Mm. Uh, so last night was Malaysian oh, restaurant. Unreal. I think it went to number one for me. Yeah. Ryan was literally, honestly, if you could have heard him, the entire sounds that he was making throughout the meal. Oh, hon. Oh, gosh. Ugh, every single mouthful, it was nice. It was really good. And you know what, the vibe in the restaurant as well, you couldn't really judge whether it was going to be really good fresh quality or whether it was going to be like a little bit dingy. Like you couldn't judge it. There was no giveaway from the menu and everything. It was just all super... To be honest, if I had to guess, I was going to say that it was going to come out like a, a bit of bit rubbish to be honest mm. and it came out and it was just ultra fresh wasn't it gorgeous gorgeous food and just the whole the food here is amazing isn't it? and what did we have after the malaysian oh can we not talk about that because that's not really sticking to the anti-inflammatory lifestyle yeah but every so now and again not. it's good to experience things isn't it i know it is so we had a deep fried banana oh my gosh yeah in, and that came with peanut satay i dread to think of what it was deep fried in but <laughs> let's just not go there oh, it was unbelievable though it, wasn't it? it wasn't biohacking behavior it was an anti-inflammatory behaviour, but I tell you what, it was absolutely gorgeous. We shared this deep fried banana. Do you know what? We was walking past the place. It was like a Chinese, wasn't it? Mm. And I saw it in the window, this big deep fried thing. And I instantly was like, oh, what is that? So we just went in to have a look. And then when we saw what it was, we was like, oh, 
Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Shall we share one? So we shared one. It came in this little tray and the put peanut satay sauce in there and it was just heaven, wasn't it? Oh, amazing. Yeah. So we did have a really nice night last night. We had some snacks. Snacks. Some snacks. <laughs> um, today is our last day. Complete mishmash of clothes on today because the weather's turned, it's cold. I just want comfort and warmth. To be honest so i've actually put my gym like my leggings that i brought in case i went on a run trainers jacket that i brought in case i went on a run spare t-shirt that i just threw in last minute but we're just going with it because this is amsterdam and this is the vibe anything goes doesn't it it does That's what i love about this place actually um so the plan for the day before our flight later is shopping no. I love the quirk of Amsterdam and last time we were here for the very short time I actually got some of my favourite ever Christmas decorations which I pull out every year. Do you remember that shot? It's like the pig, the big fat lady pig oh, sat yes, on, the, yes. on the bauble. I got some really, really quirky Christmas decorations and I'm just craving like looking in a few shops like that that sell those bits and pieces that are just like super arty. Because we picked up those decorations about four years ago now. I wonder which part of Amsterdam that was. Yeah, they? I can't remember and we've definitely not passed it. But that's what I'm craving, just like looking in those like little nooks and crannies and finding those little shops and like cuckoo clocks. I've not seen any cuckoo clocks. No, there should be one of those shops somewhere. One day I want a cuckoo clock. They are actually really expensive for a proper good one, but I, I think, just want to look at all that today. I think I think. might eat some more food today. <gasps> Naughty food. Um. Yeah, that's what you're A saying. mixture. Well, I am not, honey, absolutely not, because I am grateful for my treat last night, and today is Monday, and sorry, I'm not starting the week like that, so this morning I will be doing a fast, black coffee is what I've had, and water, and I will enjoy breaking my fast with some healthy food later this afternoon, which of course, I will share whatever I eat. <laughs> Shall we go and enjoy our last day in Amsterdam? We've got about three hours. Three? Oh, is that it? Yeah, we've got sad. to get to the airport. The airports are all dodgy, aren't they? That is minute. sad. Yes. Oh, I'll be glad to get out of this dingy hotel room. I know, it's been the dingiest. It's got like a super dark... There's no lights, look. Absolutely dark none up vibe there. to it. Everything's it? just like these little lights and they're just not Oh, t-shirts. I've not shown the t-shirts. We did go to this really cool t-shirt shop and we got family t-shirts. It was two for 30 euros. So of course we had to get one each. Seth, Nancy, me and daddy. So I got this one, which looks basic, but I really like the writing. It says, exhale the bad shit, but the back's the best bit. Yeah. So look, inhale the good shit, exhale the bad shit. Do we like it? We love it. I love it. I got it in a large for like an oversized vibe. Um, and then daddy chose Nancy's, didn't you? Because this is what you two do when your hands are hot. You hold hands like that. Yes. Pinky thing. Pinky hold. She'll like that. She will. So daddy chose Nancy's and I chose Seth's. It's hard because there was a lot that I thought that Seth would like, but we went for this one, didn't we? Yes. The Warner Brothers logo. Don't worry, everything will be okay. Okay, and then Daddy got. Uh, what did you get? I got that. And what's that say? Fuck perfection. Oh, love that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, I forgot which one you got. Yeah. And they were from this shop. Yeah. We took a. Yes. And every single t shirt you buy, they plant a tree. That's right. So we nice. just planted four trees there. Eh? Yeah, and they're actually nice quality cotton. Mm hmm. And so they plant they were... them in areas of deforestation. Lovely. Yes. 
Nice concept. There are little purchases. Cool. So far. Right, come on, we better go. We've got three minutes to check out. Should we um, have something in there? Yeah. Inside there, yeah? Oh. I'm fasting this morning, but Ryan's ravenous because we've been on a big run. Hot chocolate with rum. Mm. Yeah, let's. Looks lovely. Looks like they do nice avocado breakfast and stuff. I don't think there's any tables out here though. Oh, are you fancying naughty, like, greasy burger? I want a burger actually. Yeah. I think it would be better up in there for a burger. Where? Up oh, to you. What do you think? Maybe. I love it. I'm strong. <laughs> Okay, this building right in front of us says shopping. Oh, notice, notice how you see the food and drink and I see the shopping. <laughs> Ryan's got a burger on the brain. I've got quirky Amsterdam items on the brain. Hey, look, yeah, look. Does that not say no drones? It says drone activity. Oh, okay. Oh, Ryan spotted the steak and burger bar, and I've spotted the China massage. The China. <laughs> it's not normal massage. It is normal massage. If you want it to be. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Have a look at the price. Oh, look. Body massage, 23 euros, 20 minutes. Wow, that's very good. Let's get yourself in the burger bar, hon. Or do you just go straight in for the feet? Oh, I have walked a lot this weekend, done about 15,000 steps per day. Um, hmm, neck and shoulder, feet, reflexology, 20 minutes, 23. Enjoy your burger. Enjoy your massage. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. For the massage? I want to massage, yes, please. Yeah. How long? Um. Oh, that's the kind of work and stuff I'm after. I had, I chose China massage. Ryan chose burger. A double blue cheese burger with a side of onion rings and oh. truffle mayo. I'm glad I chose my option. I feel revived. It started to get a little bit rude. So I had to. Did it? That's said tub. That's to like say that's enough. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. It was perfect. I got a leg and foot massage and I got a neck and shoulder massage and it was heaven. It was the best 33 euros ever spent. I no got way. half an hour. What? Mine was 32 euros. Yours was 32? Yeah, because I got an extra mine burger. Was 33. Onion rings. This is what I'm talking about. A little bit of Amsterdam quirk. I want one. <gasps> they do keyings and everything. Let's get in here. Oh, I like these glittery ones. Have you found your duck? Ooh. Interesting. Oh, look. Uh, yeah, gold up. That's the best one. It's like metal as well. I like that one. Well, that's the best I've seen so far. For sure. There's another one up there, but it's not quite as good. No. Bronzed up. Let's keep looking. Do you know Bob Marley had. Um, a cancerous mole under his toenail. 
You know that. You did. This one, actually. How much is that? Oh my god, that's like a, it's like a special one. Especially expensive. Yeah. It's so nice though. What's oh, the gold, gold one? one? I do like the gold one. Yeah. yeah. What about the gold one and a little friend to go with it? Like a mini friend. Does that one need a friend? Because it's all alone. Does it? Do they match? Not really. They don't really match. They don't, do they? Do they match? No. No. I don't think they're gonna match because they're different types. What's this one? What's that one holding? A bag and what is that? I think Gold Duck wants to be an only child. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. He's alone. I think that's Out for a what golden he's trying duck. to tell us. I think he's saying, get me away from all these ducks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay! We got our mama duck. Last meal in Amsterdam. What did we go for? Well, I didn't join Ryan in the burger treat because we had plenty of treats last night, some of which we haven't mentioned, have we, honey? No. We'll, we'll just keep it to the fried banana. But I thought today would be a healthy day, so surrounded by cakes, waffles, crepes all the amazing food that you can imagine what did we go for to stay healthy we went for duck a whole duck a whole duck i actually didn't realize it was going to come out that big we would have been fine with half a duck but extra iron packed with iron and protein let's eat duck in fact it's been a very duck theme today hasn't it it has actually yeah yeah we even got a... i mean it just looks delicious just craving meat. Come on and then. what time did we get to? I fasted until 10 to 3. 10 to 3. Yeah, not bad, hey? 30 minutes before our taxi to the airport. Yes, just gonna squeeze a whole duck in there, <laughs> like you do. 
with a nice swan in the background there. Would you like me to do the first taste, see what it's like, see if it's still on? Oh my god. Of gosh. course, madam. It looks I mean, phenomenal. Look at that. What a better way to make yourself starving, hang on and break your fast with gorgeous duck. Come on, healthy fat. And look at this. Fork. I mean, that is proper duck meat right there. Let's try. Is it moist? Mm. Sometimes duck can dry. Mm. I think your face says it all. Perfection, that. Really? Mm. Really nice. Succulent duck. Ooh. Yes. Mmm. Are you going to put some of this sauce on it? A bit of chilli. Is it chilli? Yeah. Let's have this bit. This bit's got like... Skin on. Mm. Juicy, is it? Mm. There is a bone in there. That is gorgeous. Mmm. I'm so glad I waited today until I was starving. Good, I need to eat now. Got 17 minutes before taxi. Last meal in Amsterdam. Listen, I don't think we could possibly pack any more into this trip. Really, really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for Wednesday's Biohacker Summit, which honestly, I am so excited to edit and share with you all with so many amazing health hacks, brands, everything it's all going to be jam-packed into one so wednesday 5 p.m french time the whole reason we came to amsterdam see you later bye